Welcome to the Online Business Development Courses and Online Trainings, a series of mini courses for beginning online business entrepreneurs, marketers, and content creators. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, stay till the end because there's some bonus content, and I appreciate all my old subscribers and all my new subscribers. Thanks for, for tuning in to the channel. Stay tuned, all right? We're going to be talking about providing value. And this worksheet is going to be a free resource that you can give your subscribers to go along with something or as a standalone piece of content that you can provide value. You can use this as, as a complement to a video series or a course, an email course, or as a free resource to accompany a blog or other piece of content like an audio sample or a podcast. Now you'll want to use Canva to design it. And I'm going with the quickest way to get this idea to fruition and the easiest tool you can use to create this resource. Now, Canva is one of my favorites, as you might well know, if you've watched any of my videos or if you've read any of my other articles. I'm going to give you a few ways you could use this worksheet to your advantage. So I'm going to show you exactly how to create it in Canva and how you can do it in under five minutes. But before I get to that, we're going to talk about a few things. If you want to skip to where I show you exactly how to do it, you can skip down to the time that you see below. Now let's jump right in. You'll wanna make sure that this worksheet is actionable with specific steps they can complete to help them with their solution and give them a quick positive result. This is going to increase your standing with your subscriber or your customer, plus it's going to be giving them immense value since you gave them a quick actionable solution to one of their major problems. I have an email course that you may or may not have already taken, but lots of people have trouble coming up with ideas. Some might be stuck on, what do I write? What can I blog about? In regards to their product that they're selling, and some people are just stuck there. So I created this worksheet so they actually have to do something. And at the end of the day, they'll have some content they can use. Now this is just an example, but that's what you want to do. You want to provide them with a mini solution to their problem. And that's all this worksheet is. Eventually you can use this in marketing, maybe to lead them to your main product or to your solution solving service, service that you offer. And you can also use it in emails or squeeze pages or lead pages. Number one, one way you can use this worksheet is a supplement to a webinar as part of a workbook. So I have a webinar where I help people build their online business if they're just starting up. And these worksheets are in that workbook that they can follow along while I'm teaching the webinar. And this is just one way you could use the worksheet. Another way you could use this worksheet is as part of an email course. So during the course, you could lay out a few items that will help your prospects with their problem. And as an added bonus for them or added value for them, you could include it in some of the email copy throughout that mini course. If you have some type of training video, your subscribers can follow along as you teach with the worksheet that you can provide them. You could give it to them when they sign up for the training, and then you could allow them to download it in anticipation for the upcoming training. And this is just an idea. You might have some better ways to do it. And if you do, that's great. Now in one of my multi-part video series, I give people a workbook to follow along with as I teach them ways they can crush dating and relationships, eventually leading to the purchase of my book, which is about building relationships. Now, as I'm going through the videos, I drop links to some of my other free material in the workbook to add even more value to help my prospects solve their issue. So where do I get the material for the worksheet? Maybe you, you're asking that question and I'm glad you asked. If you create content on a regular basis, you could take it from a, a blog you previously created or a podcast or a video that you've previously created. And maybe it's a series or it could be a series of any one of these and the worksheet could just summarize that content that you've already created. I talk about repurposing content in another article and you can check in the description if you're having problems creating content you should read that article. You should be trying to help them get from point A, which is having a problem, to point B, which is when you solve their problem. Ryan Dice and the people over at Digital Marketing, they do an excellent job at this with their Facebook targeting list. Since a lot of us have issues finding our target market, they came up with this list and I use it almost every time I, I do ads. You can watch a previous video that I created about finding your target market It'll be in the description, but I go into detail on what to look for and how to set it up. This is what your worksheet can provide. 
it can provide some direction to help solve their frustrations. And what you want to do is in the beginning of a training, for instance, you could tell them to fill in the blanks on your worksheet as you go. And since they may not know the answers, they'll have to consume your content to get the answers. It's an asset in your business or niche that you can use over and over. Let's jump straight in. So we're going to set the timer. I'm going to shoot for five minutes, but we're going to set it to around eight minutes just to give some leeway. And I'm going to start here in Canva where it says create a design here. And you're going to click create design and it's going to bring this whole screen up. And I usually use blog graphic and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one straight straight from scratch so you can see how quickly and easy this is. Now, this is one that I created, Content Challenge Worksheet, for one of my online classes. And you see here I've got the links to something down here, and you should always link it in your worksheet. But let's go from scratch. I'm just going to scroll through here until I see something that I like. This doesn't have to be perfect. It can be very simple, very short. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to a use, I haven't created a worksheet for this particular training yet. So I'm going to use the best methods to repurpose content. You guys might have read that article or seen the video. I'm going to make a worksheet for this. So I'm going to take some of these main points and I'm just going to make a worksheet right here live for you. So you can scroll on the left hand side and see all the different designs here. I'm just going to pick one. I don't have a particular one in mind. I'm going to use this one. So you can pick any one of these. You can use this one. This probably would have been better, but that's okay. We'll use this one. So there we go. So we have this up. I'm going to delete all of this. Change the fonts. Uh, again, this is not going to be perfect. We're just. You can also change the colors. But for purposes of this training. Again, I'm going to use a previous article that I wrote called The Best Methods to Repurpose Content. So that's going to be the title of my blog. Best Methods to Repurpose Content Worksheet. Okay, I'm going to make this sm smaller. I'm not going to change any colors because I have... I'm on the clock here. So one of the things you want to do is just to be creative. There are no rules to this thing. And it needs to solve a problem. So here, going back to this article, I'm going to use this as the first section for my worksheet. We will talk about four modalities that you can split content into. And this is going to be, for example, I'm going to be teaching a, a maybe a it could be some type of live training or maybe just a, like a 30 minute live training on on Facebook or anything or it could be something that you make up you could shoot a video on your phone anyway these are going to be the first four fill in the blanks and they're gonna follow along with me as I'm teaching it I want to get rid of all of this and I'll put number one and like you see here it says you can sp split content into four modalities that's what I'm going to put here. You can split content into four modalities. And this is all based off that article, so this would be I mean, it's not very pretty. You can change the colors, but again, for purposes of this worksheet and time restraints, because I know you guys don't have a lot of time. Second thing, I'll go back to the here. I'm going to use, uh, let's see what I'll use right here. I'll just use this picture. The number one method you can use if you don't have a lot of time and resources. So I'll go back. That'll be the second thing that I put here. The number one method you can use if you don't have lots of time and resources 
is to record a blank blank which it'll be a live video three you can also make check boxes here you can type check box into the search search bar we'll talk about that you can turn this into or you can turn this content tent into blank actually let's just go down two one blank two three and so all this other stuff I'm just going to select and delete delete all this delete all that put it in a trash can again this does not have to be perfect it can be really quick and I can enlarge this after I get through but again for purposes of time and the first one you can turn this content into a blog post is going to be the first answer so put two, two, two uh, spaces there to use on social media and this one will be an audio resource take all the pieces of content and link them to the original content I told you you can make a checklist so let's do that check box see so I can just slide those into here and again this is just I'm gonna make them smaller actually I should just be smaller and just copy this and these will just be check boxes that they can remember so I might do copy this tips to remember again I'm just doing this off the cuff I didn't practice this tips to remember we'll do copy on this uh, select all this we'll go uh, let's see tip number one I don't know what it is but I'm just winging it here tips to remember has it solved their problem that way you can make sure you include that on on their on this worksheet tip number two uh, have you recorded have you used multiple modalities just kind of like a worksheet with a checklist on it I don't need again I'm just going off the top of my head so let's see have you created for social media so just like that I'm done with this worksheet I, and again I can change the colors if I wanted to to make it something like I don't know more appealing because yellow ain't all that nice looking right I mean again there are no rules to this thing but at the bottom I mean I would change all this to black but again for time purposes and here I change this to black for more information visit me at mywebsite.com let's center that and just like that you've got a worksheet done let's see how much where we're at on the time for more ideas you can go to marioriverscom forward slash content mastery free and I'm actually going to use this in a future training
In this bonus content section, we're going to be talking about creating slides, creating a URL in MailChimp, and creating a blinking effect using iMovie and Canva like you just saw. Just to show you how I created that, uh, the bonus content, the blinking, I just, in Canva, you can see here, I created a slide that says bonus content. Drag it from wherever you have the files at, and then all you have to do is play it back, and you will see the effect that I'm talking about. One last thing to note here is uh, this is also every slide that you're seeing is actually what I, I use Canva to create all of these too. See, if you remember all the slides that we went through in the beginning, I create all of these in Canva too. So I use Canva for pretty much everything. In MailChimp, you go to templates. Once templates come up, you go to content manager. Once you go to content manager, you go to upload and I'm going to select the one that I just created remember the one I just showed you how to create but I'm going to select the PDF and you just go here to copy URL so let's say if I copied and paste that and put it in my browser right and hit enter you see it'll automatically come up with that worksheet and then they have the option to download it and just like that it's that easy Learn how you can change your life and get the freedom, time, and money you deserve. Sign up for any of the live master classes by going to mariarivers.com forward slash online business coaching. Learn more about all of our free content and resources and enroll in our online business courses today.